Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike, and today we're going to discuss maybe one of the hardest push-up variations, but it's a rowing variation. So it's, it's really confusing, um, but it's both. It really is both. This is called the Renegade Row. So if I'm doing a push-up, basically I do the whole rep, and then I pick a hand up, and I shift my weight to one of them, and I'm holding a dumbbell in my other hand, and I'm just gonna row that thing up like this, and then I can switch sides. And hopefully, I'm not butchering that for the camera, but knowing me, I probably am. <laughs> this variation is very difficult. I don't really, it's, it's not difficult to necessarily do in any way, but it's difficult to do the right way. So I don't give it to a lot of people, okay? I'm just gonna be blunt. I don't think you're really, I think you're half-assing the push-up and I think you're half-assing the row. You're not really loading the row at all. It's killer for an upper body stabilization exercise, but only if you can do it correctly and you need a lot of patience to be able to do this correctly. <clears throat> um, basically, you're doing an ab thing because you're holding a one-arm plank. And then you should also feel those upper back muscles that we know so well from all of our rowing variations. And you won't feel them super intense like a normal row because you don't have the same load, but you should just feel them activate. Uh, what, what would be like the science term for that? The push up to one arm row, perhaps? I've always heard it as the renegade row.